Jim, we're looking at Ascot Western Spur, H105E. Motor bull holds a lot of power, glides like a cat. Pretty impressive set of figures as well. Yes, Ben, the, the figures are very good. Uh, he starts off with positive carving ease, moderate birth weight, uh, but then he goes into top 1% for 200, 400 and 600 day weights. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, mate. And um, he's also, I mean, he's massive in the scrotal, he's massive in the carcass. Yes, yeah, no, he's once again 1% in those EBV areas. Um, yeah, so very impressive uh, across the board of those figures. And tell me a bit about his breeding. Yeah, he's by uh, a resident sire we have here called Pringa Western Spur. He's an Australian bred homozygous pole bull. Um, once again, he's probably the longest Charolais bull that I've ever seen. Uh, not necessarily the tallest bull, but he has got extreme length. Mm. And mate, you know, being homozygous polled, like, pretty rare for the industry, but if people want to go that way, if studs want to start breeding homozygous polled bulls, I mean, he's going to really suit a lot of stud breeders. Yeah, absolutely. This uh, bull we've got in the sale, he's also DNA tested homozygous polled as well as his sire. So that's a huge advantage for, for a stud breeder or a, a big end commercial breeder who wants to, to poll his whole herd in one hit. And Jim, on top of all those figures and stuff, uh, and the carcass, he's still a positive fat bull? Yes, he is. And that's a trait that we're targeting in our stud. And um, yeah, to get a bull with um, that size and capacity to also have positive fat, it, it's an added bonus and, and it's a good trait to have.